This is the next in my series of Sunday Superlatives. And if you're going to talk about the superlatives, the heroes from Sunday, looking back at Saturday's college football games, you have to talk about quarterbacks. It's practically a law. I'll start with Kyle Trask. And though Florida ended up losing that game, it wasn't because of Kyle Trask. He showed you leadership. He showed you toughness, touch and anticipation as a passer. He made some plays with his feet. And he was accurate. Uh, 23 of 32 for 312 yards, four touchdowns. And though he seemed to be perturbed a little by the fact that Kyle Fitz missed a great deal of the game with what looked like a foot problem, he still acquitted himself well. And then I guess the larger story is the improvement of Kellen Mond on the other side of the field. Kellen Mond is a very highly touted quarterback. He came in with a lot of fanfare and has been, frankly, inconsistent. And I've been critical of his inconsistency, but he really has improved. He showed you so much better sense of how to read defenses, ball placement, everything. And once again, a very mobile guy. Uh, Mond had a, a game, really his best game so far, 25 or 35, 338 yards, and also four touchdowns. So, uh, three touchdowns, sorry, but very impressive. And then I'm going to go to another sort of re uh, revelation, somebody whose eyes, uh, who my eyes have recently been opened to, and, and want to thank Donovan James, who told me about Phil Jerkovic at Boston College, and he's got some Joe Flacco to him, a big guy, but he moves well, probably better than Flacco. He had a, a rushing touchdown in addition to his passing touchdowns, three tough passing touchdowns, and he went 19 of 35, so not exactly a pinpoint passer, but he really stretched the field with, with his, his power arm. Also, I'm going to have to talk about another guy who's news to me to some extent. I'd heard that Connor Bazelak had a chance to play this year, and he was not the starter coming out of camp. I, I wonder why, but he clearly really showed out and was one of the most impressive players I saw all week. 406 yards on what we now realize is a probably fairly vulnerable LSU defense, but still for a redshirt freshman, he looked really great. He went 29 of 34 and had four touchdowns. And you have to, have to discuss Mac Jones. So clearly there was concern around Alabama with Tua Tagovailoa moving on. But despite Tua Tagovailoa now uh, sitting on the bench in Miami for probably a little while longer, we're seeing that Mac Jones was not just biding his time. He clearly was watching and preparing, and he went all the way off. 417 yards passing, two touchdowns. 28 of 32. That means four balls all day hit the ground. That's pretty good for practice. I'm going to continue to watch all these quarterbacks as we go forward.